Alright, so some of you may remember way back to my first video when I started this whole journey off. Part of my uh, reasons for doing this were to help motivate myself to uh, bettering myself, my health uh, as I move into my 50s here. And in some aspects of that I have been pretty successful, specifically uh, with regards to my medical health, I have I feel like I have taken care of the things I needed to take care of. I've had my annual physical. I have had my various uh, checks, colonoscopy, um, prostate, and those kind of things that should happen at my age. And uh, to be honest, an update on some of that. Um, my colonoscopy actually, I. Uh, had it come back with a precancerous lesion which in and of itself is not dangerous but because we caught it early we were able to take care of it now what that means is I need to be more vigilant and I may or I not may I definitely have to get checked more often but what that means is that the proactive nature of that has absolutely paid off in that I won't be having to deal with uh, any complications from cancer later on because we know I'm at risk and we can you know manage it appropriately so we have eliminated uh, one risk factor that I was uh, pretty prone to get because it's in my family now because of that my nephews uh, my children anybody who's a blood genetic relative of mine uh, they've recommended they start getting checks early so my children will start getting their colonoscopies at 40 rather than 50 and I will get them every three years instead of every 10 years so bottom line is we have uh, been made aware that there's an issue and we have dealt with it and because of it we expect to be able to avoid it and, and uh, thankfully are, uh, are in good shape with that so because of my medical aspects I, I, I'm in pretty good shape however on the personal health front uh, I have not done well with my weight I've, I've gone uh, the opposite way I expected and wanted to but that's my own fault because I have not been exercising nor eating right and I'm going to try to readdress that starting immediately and so well, one of the things I find exercising so boring you'll find as I at some point start talking about myself and my life being bored is a great tragedy for me it's something I, I, I can't I can't deal with and so I, um, anything that's going to be tedious or whatever is really something I try to avoid so I avoid exercising but I've run across something I think may be helpful uh, a piece of exercise equipment which I've purchased and what you're going to see for the rest of this video is me unboxing it and putting it together and testing it out for the first time and so you'll be seeing that here uh, in the rest of this video but uh, I do think I've made progress in some areas and not progress in others so we're trying to address all of them as we age so that we can age um, longer and have a better quality of life moving forward so without further ado I give you the work ride. Alright, so here we go with our new piece of equipment. I always uh, keep a Swiss Army knife handy for stuff like this. Just wish it was a little sharper. The box was pretty heavy. Came by UPS and sitting outside the front door when I got home from work today. Drink coaster. Gotta love that. Product registration. 
important. Right, what kind of tools are we going to need here? Ah, the following tools are included. A wrench and an Allen wrench. An Allen wrench and screwdriver combo. So we got all the tools we need. Very good. Very helpful. Thank you. Work ride. W-I-R-K. Work ride. Alright. I'm going to give us a list of all the parts and sizes and things like that. So just so y'all know exactly what I'm doing here, this is basically a stationary bike with a desk attached to it. Nice big seat for the bum. That'll be well appreciated, I'm sure. Uh, but this way I can work out and also I can uh, do stuff. Whether it's even reading or working or playing a game or whatever, I can do something besides exercising, just exercising. Okay, here's the desktop. Well, interesting, some of the parts are loose in here. That's not very good. That would be Victoria. I mean, it seems a little indifferent. It's just kind of, it's just kind of thrown in there in strategic ways. Alright, so I'm going to get rid of all this trash here and then we'll start putting it together. Manufacturer, loose, just loose parts just thrown in here. Not good. One other washer, loose. It's bad. Alright, so let's see what we got. It See how much of this we can get put together. Ah, here's why there's loose parts. There's a tear in the parts bag. Well, I have my tools, I have my wrench, and my Allen wrench slash screwdriver. 
So now we know. Tear in the parts bag with the culprit. Well, I hope I have everything. If not, I'm sure I can go to the store and get it, but I would prefer not to have to. Now we will follow the instructions. I know that's kind of foreign to some of y'all, but that's how we do it around here. took a break got over my frustration and now try this again shall we Okay, seat is done. Well, that part. Okay, it's now put together. I'm going to read a little bit of instruction here and then I'm going to give it a whirl and I'll give you a tour. 
Okay, so now we have our work ride set up. Nice seat and back that moves a little. Got handlebars. We got the desktop here, which I can put a laptop and strap it in here. Or I can put my tablet here. And I've got several different settings for that. And a drink holder, handles, more handles. And then I've got the controls here, which I uh, can set to a number of different modes. Right now it's set to scan, which will take it through all of the modes. There's a time mode, which timer. Speed mode shows how fast you're going. Distance, how far you went. Calories, how many calories you burnt. And odometer. All these can be zeroed out except for the odometer. And as you see, you push each one of these odometer is zero this has not been ridden all right and now I have the uh, seat adjustment knob right here so I can rate right here so I can raise and lower the seat and this is the torsion knob so I can make it more or less difficult to pedal and as you see it seems to be like this is all jammed up inside you in your space and all that well, you can actually adjust this uh, based on your height, which means I'll probably have to adjust it a lot. So let me see. So as you might imagine, this is quite a bit closer than I would like it to be. So I can set it however far back to the point where I'm even standing up. I would probably put it somewhere around here. And you can level the feet. I have not leveled it yet, but you can level it and climb on. Hopefully, I won't hurt myself. Seems awfully high, but maybe. Whew, the handlebars get a little fresh with me. All right, it's not bad. All right, I get my feet in there. Boy, that's like nothing. But the good news is I can reach down and adjust it. Make it a little... Very easy to turn this. Which is good because... There we go. I would want something like this. I can see myself doing this for an extended period of time. Handlebars. There we go. Tablet here, I could read. Just right there, 1.4 calories. I'm thinking the seat's too high. Whoa! Just one, one thing too high. And uh, this definitely needs to go out one more. There we go. I think that'll work. All right. Well, there you go. I will start working out tomorrow. And uh, we'll record my first session to include in this. You can't even see me. Let's have a chat here. All right. So there you have it. I will uh, start working and uh, we'll report my weight when I start and I will give you updates on how things go and hopefully my cardio will improve and uh, you know I'll take care of the other half of the health stuff that I've been uh, been working on so as I said this was my year to do it my year is getting close to being up but you know what we're starting and that's that's the important part so we'll just uh, we'll press on you later. All right, so here we go. We're going to give this our first shot. Uh, I got my tablet with my Kindle. I have water. I have my mouse. I have my television, which is my computer screen. And I have found uh, some spin classes on YouTube. I might try some of that. 
and then I've got my YouTube videos to watch and other stuff to keep me entertained while we're doing this. So we're going to do it. Ready? Break. Alright, so as you can see I just finished my workout, uh, the bike worked well, the desk was nice, uh, I was suitably entertained during the whole time, uh, wasn't a long workout but it was a good one, good start, feel pretty good. Um, so before I started I, I weighed in at 278 pounds, which was an, an increase of 3 pounds over the last 9 months which isn't terrible but it's the wrong direction so we need to be headed back in the other direction so we're going to again start drinking a lot of water uh, eating light dinners tonight I had grapes and carrots you know uh, and uh, you know continuing the workouts and we should we should see some progress here but it's just a matter of me getting serious and getting my mindset straight so we're headed in that direction in the proper direction uh, for my descendants, you guys get your colonoscopies at 40, get them early and often, could save your life. Take, take this as a word of warning from Gramps. Uh, this is something you need to not ignore. And any of your other checks too, get them all done. Uh, you never know what you could discover and save your own life like I just did. So, there you go. Uh, we'll keep you posted on how things are going. I expect things to start improving I won't say rapidly because this is not a rapid process it took me a long time to, to get here it's gonna take me a long time to get back but that's what we're doing all right so that's it uh, everybody knows my current status now and uh, you know we're gonna take care of business all right check y'all later